Hi, I'm Lisa Domenico Harris. I'm an author, etiquette instructor, and self-image coach. Today I want to share with you what I consider to be the dangers of compromise. First, let's start with the definition of compromise and what does it even mean? A compromise means to accept standards that are lower than is desirable. Low, low, low. Friend, let me tell you, we are living in a society that is doing just this. Accepting worldly standards which are lower over God's standards which are higher and we're all lowering ourselves along the way by doing this. Our society is so willing to bend and mold itself to false doctrines, ideology, theories, and every trend that sets up in the minds of people, I'm telling you, which in result, in return, results in confusion and a whole lot of discord. What we are experiencing in our country today is the result of compromise. Our nation has turned its heart and eyes away from God and has chosen to put on blinders to His truth. Why? So they can seek selfish ambitions and put their ways higher than God's ways. Well, I have something to tell you that God is an all-knowing God. He knows the beginning, the end, and everything in between. He knows what is best for each one of us. And if we think that we can outsmart or even have our thoughts higher than His, then we are clearly, clearly wrong. After all, God is the author of the universe and He created you and me. But that's another topic for another video. Why is our society, including Christians, trying to bend and mold to trends and selfish ambitions? What are they trying to gain? The Bible tells us in Mark 8:36, For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? When you choose to compromise and lower your standards, you are losing your soul to this world. God has called us to stand fast and firm in our faith and to not compromise. This is really hard, especially for younger Christians and those who do not know the truth are not being taught the word and who are easily persuaded. If you aren't rooted and grounded in your relationship with Christ, taught His word and dedicated to keeping His commandments, you, my friend, will easily slip and waver with the trends of this world. We are living in a godless society where it seems most of us have lost our minds and all sense of direction. And I would even dare to say that some have simply gone crazy, cuckoo, believers and non-believers. And people don't even go to church anymore. They don't even have an ear for the word of truth because they think the word is so outdated and old fashioned and is no longer relevant to the world that we live in. Their vision of the truth, they make it to fit their ideas and selfish motives. And people are trying to package the gospel to adapt to their own personal agendas, leaving behind the truth. And as a result, they are living in compromise. The problem with worldly compromise is it appears to look like the answer. But in reality, it is only a hidden cancer that spreads to the inward bellies of a man and brings with it death and destruction. The fact is, when you compromise God's Word, you are living in sin. And sin, well, it leads to trouble and destruction, heartache, sorrow, spiritual death, even death, all of those bad things. Compromise is a destructive path that leads nowhere and I believe is the worst attack on a church yet. When the world has the power to influence Christians to waver from their faith, the truth of God's Word, then we must ask the question, where are all of the mature Christians and why aren't they standing in uncompromising faith? I'm telling you what, it is the job of our, as us, a mature Christian, to recognize the seduction of compromise that seeks to repackage the gospel by adapting and diluting it to, in an attempt to make it more tasteful to new believers. And why aren't we standing against it? We don't modify the truth to make it what we want it to be. The truth is the truth, and it doesn't change. We are the ones that must change to adapt the truth. The truth will set us free, the Bible says. Who doesn't want to be free? But yet another thing, another problem that arises with compromise is this. There are no fine lines anymore between right and wrong. 
And there are many young people growing up today that don't even understand the difference between right and wrong. Right, well, it has become so blurred by the beauty of sin that it no longer stands out. Newsflash, sin, well, it isn't pretty, and it's just downright ugly. Sin will appear to be fun and pretty for a while, but when it reaches its fullness, I'm telling you, you better watch out because judgment's coming and hell's coming with it. The truth will prevail. So what I want you to see is this. When you are a Christian, you are called to be brave, be courageous, stand fast and firm, and stand strong in the truth of God's Word. Jesus is the Word. He is the truth. He is life. He is the light. You need to be the light of the truth. Shine in this world of darkness so that you can reach this mindless and godless society that we're living in for Christ Jesus. And you should set your standards high and never compromise them for an ever wavering world of sin. The truth will prevail and God's word will never return void. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.